Hey, I'm just uh, gonna be going through doing a pretty basic bounty here on Red Dead 2 Online. Um, this is one of the hard bounties, or not hard bounties, but uh, legendary bounties. It's uh, got the $3 bill rating, or however they do that on here. don't know you can take your time a, l a little bit on your way to go start the bounty um, the time limit doesn't kick in usually until you uh, have them So, uh, I've never been that guy that just rides around and shoots random side characters and stuff. I've never been one to do that. Occasionally, I'll, you know, stuff happens. It's the West. But I've been told that uh, by a few people, not a whole lot of people, but by a few people that I'm the only person they know who plays the game in uh, first person. The whole game, they know a couple of people here and there who will, they'll ride in first person or they'll do their shooting in first person, one or the other, but they don't just play the whole game through in first person. If you guys want to, you know, you can comment about it. I'd, I'd like to know how many people out there actually do or don't play in first person. I just prefer it this way. I know people that, you know, that it makes them dizzy, that kind of thing, so I get it. It's just, I, I prefer it this way. It's like a first person shooter to me, and the graphics look different. It's like a western Skyrim to me. somewhere that's a long ways away I will do the cinematic mode but not normally you were raised by wolves or something the clues, gotta inspect the clues, follow the trail, inspect the clue, follow the trail. And yeah, from time to time they get a little repetitive on here with the bounties, you know, it'll be different people, but they'll always be in the same spots over and over again, so after a while you get kind of used to where to go. We will try to the right first, see where that leads us. Hopefully, if it leads us to another clue, we're going the right way. I think that might be what's happening. You can see that's the trail we're following all the way down there. <coughs> and here we go around the corner. No, 
another clue. Always nice. And let's see. Around the corner. That means he is going to be more than likely. Yep. Looks like the trail goes around that way. You can kind of see the blue. been hoofing it. Another clue. Alright. So that means he's going to be over along that side by the railroad track. Time to time, they have their uh, friends try to come rescue the boss. I always like to give them a rap because they always talk. That's just me. You see, already we were pretty close here in Tumbleweed to where we're going. And I always. You know, I, I played the first Red Dead Redemption, um, and I always remember all the stuff about Tumbleweed from the first game, so I always thought it was kind of cool to... This can't be happening again! ...see it active, because I remember having to go into that house up there for a mission in Red Dead Redemption, the first one. like a fairy treasure or something I forget. You did good with this. Dumbleweed thanks you. You're welcome. And that's your basic bounty. That's the bounty. As agreed. They pay you and then you walk out. You get you'll see what you get here for it. You get Oh that's new. I got a buckle. Awesome. Got some gold, got some money, got some experience, got some more gold, because I, you know, it just kind of continues. I completed a challenge, so, and yeah, that's it. Uh, on, thank you if you liked the video, uh, you know, click like and subscribe. Thank you.